Welcome to Podcast One. This is Command Sergeant Major Dan Elder, and today I've got uh, hopefully my new co-host and guest, Command Sergeant Major Archie Davis, retired. How you doing, Archie? Oh, great. Great day to be a soldier. Well, uh, this is the uh, NCO Guide Podcast. Uh, we're actually doing a sound test here in our offices in Colleen, Texas. Uh, welcome. Uh, if you were with us uh, yesterday, you, uh, you heard... Alpha, you heard Podcast Zero Alpha. Uh, we uh, tested the system. Uh, all systems were go. And uh, now we're about ready to embark on this project that we're calling the NCO Guide. The NCO Guide is not a book. It is uh, nothing more than uh, our effort to provide an exchange of knowledge and information between non-commissioned officers, active guard and reserve. So, uh, uh, Archie, uh, we, we had a little bit of time. Uh, I know you and I kind of briefly spoke about the podcast. And uh, just tell me your thoughts a little bit about what you thought the NCO Guide could bring to the NCO Corps. Well, one, uh, thank you uh, for allowing me to come on, uh, Dan. But uh, I believe that it will bring uh, a lot more <clears throat> a lot more information into the stream of technology that we have. We've got to leverage te- technology. And, you know, our soldiers, everybody's got a, a iPhone, iPad, i something out there that they are, are looking at or are uh, getting information on. So I think with the NCO guide, we can um, tap into some of our senior non-commissioned officers, some of the ones that's uh, uh, retired, some that's still uh, on active, uh, some of our uh, National Guard brothers that's out there, and basically see what they have to say. Uh, you know, we can be out uh, and about. We don't have to be tied into a uh, radio station. Uh, we we'll have these pods uh, on our iPhone, our iPad, and we can tap into them at any time, whether we are driving at work in the morning or PT in the morning or maybe uh, – going to a uh, midnight uh, or a night uh, dinner, uh, we can tap in and see what the NCO guide has to say uh, about a specific subject that's uh, in the airways. Well, you know, that's a great point. One of the ways that uh, I intend to use the NCO guide is is use technologies to bring in guests as well. You know, uh, the podcast uh, right now, we'll work with those who are local to us in Colleen. But uh, by using the technologies like Skype, what I hope to do is we're going to Skype in guests here in the future. And our guests will be able to uh, uh, log in uh, to their Skype on their uh, on their iPhone or on their computer system. And we can bring them to a conversation, a three-way conversation or more. So uh, I've already talked with a couple of guests. Uh, one of them in, who will be an early uh, guest on our podcast will be a command sergeant major by the name of uh, J.D. Pendry. Uh, Dave wrote the uh, three-meter zone. The three-meter zone is a pretty handy guide, and, and he's already committed early on. And, and J.D., hopefully you're, you're listening to this, and uh, we appreciate your acceptance to join us, and uh, we'll get you on the podcast here real soon. So uh, you're right. Not only can we use technology to uh, to listen and to stream these podcasts, but we will use uh, that technology to uh, bring in additional voices to join the conversation. And to be quite frank, uh, you know, our our, our blog, uh, the NCO Guide, which is at uh, danelder.com, the uh, blog is uh, supportive technology, but our goal is, is to identify technologies as they come on board and take advantage of them. Uh, today it's podcasting and and blogs, but maybe next week it's, you know, flying cars and robots. So, uh, great point. So, uh, what I hope to be able to do is lay out in the future, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put together a, a schedule and we'll work on some of the uh, topics and uh, some of the things that we think are, are, are hot in today's environment. Archie, you were talking about 360 assessments and uh, some areas you thought might be topical. Uh, maybe you can share a couple of ideas on some subjects you think uh, we may want to look at or consider 
for uh, for our, our future podcasts? Uh, well, Dan, uh, <clears throat> dealing with uh, 360 assessments and assessing how leaders uh, actually lead our, our great uh, men and women in our DOD population, uh, we've got to uh, know ourselves. And basically, that's a self-assessment. Uh, are we a approachable leader? Are we a humble leader? Are we someone that knows their values? Because uh, without knowing who you are and your values, uh, it is difficult in order to lead a, a formation when they don't know where you're coming from. So some ideas that I have is basically <clears throat> uh, understanding uh, you know, ourselves uh, in the light of these assessments that uh, – is all over the place, and uh, but they're for the betterment of uh, of our leaders, uh, being approachable, being humble, being authentic. Uh, you know, those are the, some of the things that we need uh, to get back to as we have a, uh, a small force here. We want to make sure that our 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 seniors come back to the to the table or come back to to the uh, these organizations that need us, so we can grow. A, 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 a army that uh, that's not relearning some things. So that's where I'm at with it. I'm excited about the uh, NCO guide, and I think uh, this will be another voice. This will be another voice, another platform that we can get the word out. No, I, that was a great point. You know, I, I appreciate you talking about the 360. When we hear, we're hearing a lot of discussion these days about uh, toxic leadership, and I think there's some confusion just just because of a sergeant or leaders up in your ass doesn't mean they're toxic. Uh, so some folks could misconstrue a uh, passionate leadership from toxic leadership. So, so I think maybe giving some tools and talking about uh, some different differentiators between the two, what, what, what a great subject uh, to bring to the table. You know, you can really point to some things that uh, uh, will indicate, you know, a passionate leader versus a toxic leader. So, so that's a great point. You also, brought up something that, that I will continue to emphasize and reemphasize is I, I'm an advocate of additional tools or additional networks to gain information from. But uh, I don't see those like the NCO guide, whether it's our blog or our podcast, or I don't see other formats like forums or uh, or other readings as replacements for any chain of command or, or NCO support channel. Obviously, soldiers uh, gather information and knowledge from their chain of command. You know, they need to see their squad leaders and the platoon sergeants, and they're the ones who provide them true authoritative guidance. However, with that said, uh, the, it is a emphasis, when you look at things like structured self-development, there is an emphasis on self-development in our army. It's been there a long time. It's part of the triad of organization, or of operational experience, of institutional knowledge, and then of course that third one is uh, is self-development. Uh, this is another avenue, uh, which is no different than reading a book or or uh, reading a magazine, as a place where you can gather information. And a good soldier will take in information through a variety of sources and then kind of do their own uh, evaluation and grading on that information. So so I appreciate you bringing up that point, Archie. That's something that we, we, we want to make sure that we, we get, get our listening uh, members and our subscribers to understand is, is we're not a replacement to any authority, just uh, possibly a, another venue or another voice uh, for you to consider in, in your professional development. So uh, this is this is podcast one. Uh, we're going to offer you, I believe, uh, uh, up to sixty minute blocks. Uh, podcast zero was kind of a, an equipment and systems test. Today uh, in podcast one, we're bringing together two voices uh, to kind of give you an overview of of where we hope to take uh, this podcast in the future. And we surely w- want to hear your advice. We want to hear your comments over on our website uh, over at uh, uh, danelder.com. Uh, what, what I'm going to ask uh, Command Sergeant Major uh, Davis about uh, to help kind of wrap up is, is his thoughts on uh, what, uh, 
what what NCOs, uh, how they can maybe reach out to us and some of the, the places they can get across, uh, where they'd like to hear about uh, uh, or what topics they'd like to hear about in the future. So uh, please, Sergeant Major, uh, let us know your, your final thoughts on that. Uh, yes, Dan. Uh, I believe this is a great tool, and I think that the non-commissioned officers in the uh, Warrior Leaders course, the uh, Sergeant Majors uh, Academy, uh, the actual uh, instructors that's instructing our uh, men and women in the uh, functional areas. Uh, you know, we can be Sapper School, Airborne School. Uh, we can be down at the, uh, <clears throat> maybe down at the uh, actual logistical uh, institution, instruction, instructing our logisticians. You know, it's these people that makes this great organization we call, you know, the, the, the Army um, so vital. Uh, in, in today, uh, today's world and, and past past wars. So I think those are the people that we want to hear from, and also the the, the not only just the people that that instruct our, our our soldiers, but we want to hear from the soldiers too. Sometimes we want them to come in and and, and actually voice on some things. So so we'll have a full three sixty, if I might say. Uh, of uh, what is really going on out there uh, in our uh, armed forces. So, well, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to say thanks. Welcome to podcast number uno, podcast number one. This is Command Sergeant Major Dan Elder, U.S. Army retired. Uh, from the NCO Guide, uh, you can visit us at uh, danelder.com. That's uh, one word. Uh, thanks again. Uh, subscribe to the podcast. You'll know immediately when our podcasts are updated. If you subscribe, uh, we want to hear from you. Post in the comments uh, your thoughts. Were were uh, you know were our levels right? Could you hear us okay? Was there too much amplification or not enough? Uh, we want to hear from you. We want to hear from uh, our subscribers, and we want you to help us guide the direction you want to see the NCO guide go. Thank you. <laughs>